What is up, Digital Warfare 24-7? My name is Sandro, but I'm better known on the great thing we call the internet as Delta Canuckian. And, um, okay, even though everyone else has said it, I guess I'll say the same thing. Uh, some of you may know me, and I'm sure many of you don't, because I actually don't post too much on the forums. And I actually just joined back in the summer, but I am a part of the director's program here on Digital Warfare 24-7 YouTube channel. Uh, I guess I'll start off just really telling you a little bit about myself. I've uh, had my own channel. Well, I've been actually posting videos on it since uh, this past January. Um, though I've been doing, you know, the whole YouTube gaming thing for a while. Uh, I had a website slash YouTube channel with a friend called Game Walkthrough, um, which shut down and is now back up again, but it's not as big. Um, so I've been, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, and I, th uh, I think I do a good job of it. So I hope you guys enjoy. This gameplay is a search and destroy match. Uh, I've decided to use this since the videos posted by the di other directors have been mostly. Uh, well, we've seen some team deathmatch, we've seen some domination, we've seen some wager matches. Decided, let's let's change it up some more and go with a search match. Uh, my final score on this was 14 and 4, I believe. As you can see, I'm using the AUG silenced. So suppressed, sorry, that's the correct term. Um, yeah, this I haven't actually played Search too much in Black Ops. So, and you'll see it kind of taking like, effect here a little bit. I've been playing mostly uh, Ground War, actually. Anyways, in this video, even though you could say I guess I'm two minutes late, I'm going to um, talk about really my, my thoughts on the game now that, you know, it's been out two weeks and... I think now I can really form a strong opinion of it, and as you saw just a second ago, uh, yes, this is being recorded in theater mode. I prefer to record my gameplay in theater mode because then I don't have that kind of in the back of my head when I'm actually playing. And I, I'm sure any other commentator can tell you w when you're recording the match as like as you play it, uh, it's always in the back of your mind and you, you screw things up that you wouldn't normally. So um, yeah, that, that's my reasoning. Uh, anyways, I, I I love this game. It's it's so much fun. I it's probably th though keep this in mind. I I started playing Call of Duty after Call of Duty three. Well, starting with Call of Duty three, so I I can't say much about uh, Call of Duty two. Though I can talk about a bit about the original Call of Duty because I have uh, COD Classic from Modern Warfare two. Um, but I, uh, anyways, I'm rambling here. Uh, this is probably the most balanced Call of Duty game ever and I'm loving it because uh, you know I just really enjoy the fact that no one's gonna be able to beat you because they have a better weapon or they have this or they have that if you unless your connection is really shitty if you were more skilled than the other person nine times out of ten you're gonna get the kill and uh, I love that there, there's definitely things people have complained about, and uh, I might touch on, I might touch on those. Really, I'm making this up as I go along, to be honest. Um, uh, there are some glitches, definitely, that I think should be addressed. Matchmaking is messed up. Uh, some visual glitches I've noticed. I'm not talking about in terms of, like textures or anything, but in the menus, um, there's some weird stuff that happens. Uh, I don't know if it's just PS3 or if it's just my copy. I don't know, um, but I'm just loving this game. This is actually, uh, the AUG is probably the only gun I really like using the suppressor on. The suppressor, it adds a bit of recoil, and for most of the other weapons, it drives me absolutely nuts, because I'll end up missing my target. And, um, the AUG is really controllable, uh, ah, it's really controllable in terms of its, in terms of its recoil, and, um, I love the gun because of that, and that's why I use suppressor, and that's why I have it on my stealth class, which doubles as an anti-air class. Always helpful. And uh, unfortunately, you don't get a final kill cam in theater mode. But I was about uh, a second off of a three-man final kill cam here in search, reload, and get the last guy right there. Um, yeah, that was <laughs> a good round. Uh, my buddies were kind of freaking out at that one. Um, yeah, uh, just uh, like I said, I'm making this up as I go on. Uh, the perks and everything—they're—they're they're really balanced. The only ones that I, 
I, I really have a problem with is Ghost to a certain extent, though that's, uh, th that's not because it's overpowered so much as <coughs> it just drives me nuts because I use the spy plane all the time. Uh, I've seen some people on the forums actually complaining about Hardline recently. Uh, I, I see what they're saying there and how it could be a problem, but I, I use Hardline on almost all my classes and I don't have a problem with it or others using it because... Well, I can't really, I guess I can't really, like, trash others for using it because I use it so much. And for me, it's just, I, I run uh, Spy Plane Blackbird Chopper Gunner all the time. So, uh, having the ability to, you know, get those last two kill streaks a kill earlier is, uh, it makes my life a lot easier. Um, yeah. The weapons, like I was saying earlier, there's no weapon that really gives you a distinct advantage. Uh, I guess maybe the, the AK-74U is a pretty beastly gun because it can it's kind of an all-purpose weapon it can be used obviously as an SMG because it is but if you threw a grip on it you could even use it a bit like a uh, like an assault rifle it's just it's a really really good weapon and um, I've heard some people talking about the G11 as well I haven't used that so I can't say whether it is a little overpowered or not but um, I hear Treyarch's looking into possibly nerfing those guns which worries me because I, I wouldn't want the uh, the 7.4U to just become shitty all of a sudden because that's the only SMG that I really like out of all of them. I I use most mostly assault rifles in this game because they're they're truly all-purpose weapons. They're all around good weapons and um, <coughs> they're just my favorites to use and what I'm doing here is I killed this guy and I saw I dropped the bomb so I'm I'm basically just sitting here camping it out and uh, waiting for someone to come and try and take it. And then I'll take him out, drop the claymore there, and uh, <laughs> that didn't take too long. Um, the attachments, I, I don't know what to say about it. One of, the, one of my favorite things in this game, well obviously, you know, the campaign is sick, zombies is amazing, but I'm talking about multiplayer here. Uh, the customization, I love it. Uh, Putting like creating your emblem, your player card, all that stuff. I, I just love it. It's so much fun. And you know the balance. You know the balance is great in this game. Everything, and especially the customization. I think that's one of my really one of the big things for me about this game. And it was when they kind of showed it all off. I got really excited about it. Uh, it just this game's so enjoyable because of it. And I love having customization options like this. And um so glad Treyarch added it in. Uh, definitely, I'm, I'm going to go out and I'm going to say it's my favorite Call of Duty game ever, Black Ops. Uh, and I was careless there. I just walked into a Claymore. Second, I'm going to switch the view over to my buddy Soccer Star since I can. Um, but I'm, I'm going to say it's probably close to Call of Duty 4 for the best Call of Duty game of all time. Flame me if you want, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, that's the end of the match. Uh, I finished 14 and 4. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my commentary. I was kind of making up as I go. I prefer I prefer to have like topics written out. So, anyways, uh, subscribe. Of course, subscribe to Digital Warfare. Uh, you can follow them on Twitter as well, and you can subscribe to myself and follow me on Twitter. Also. So uh, yeah, my name is Delta Knuckian, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my commentary. See ya.